goodness. Look at this. <laughs> this hey, is man. nice. <laughs> this just might be the most expensive Uber I've ever ordered in my life. <laughs> Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too, man. Thanks yeah. for coming down to hang out with us. I'm excited. I mean, if we're going to hang out in a Mercedes-Benz GTR... Yeah, it's... I'm um, just going to the shops, right? <laughs> you're the one in charge. Uh, I kind of am, but I'm very, very happy to give you the keys. Well, give me the keys and I'll yeah. show you things. <laughs> and Maps wasted no time exploring the full power of this incredible Mercedes GTR. The most powerful AMG car on sale right now. But that was fine, because we had somewhere to be. Maps didn't come down just to hang out with us and go for a drive. We were headed out of town, where we had planned something exciting. So I was super interested to see, right, that you have your own Wikipedia page. For me, nothing says you've made it <laughs> than, than when you have your own Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you tell me about my Wikipedia page, I've only seen that thing once. The things that people write are hilarious. It, uh, the one time I read, I was actually born in Sri Lanka, in Colombo. Um, <laughs> but this, this kind of made me chuckle though. So it says, uh, television presenter, actor, fashion designer, speaker, model, creative consultant, voiceover artist, philanthropist, and business entrepreneur. It's like, dude, do you have like an A4 business card? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask you for some advice, right? Yeah. Because you, you, you sort of know clothes, right? Yeah. And uh, like a bit of a fashion consultant. I got these in Vietnam <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering if this would take off here. So yeah. You know what? <laughs> that actually would take off because my people love watermelon. <laughs> And nothing says summer than watermelon except... So yeah. that's for you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, that's a gift. I thought... <laughs> Guys, to all my family, if you're wondering what you're getting for Christmas, these are all getting imported from Vietnam very soon. So that's that. Maps and I are going into business and we're going to sell watermelon hats. But enough about fashion, let's talk cars. My first car was an Alfa Romeo Mito. Yeah. But I've always just been responsible enough not to buy new cars. <laughs> so I've just ended up with my car forever because I, you know, put everything, whenever there's a chance to buy a new car, yeah. I, put it, I put the money in my business instead. Nice. Yeah. Until this this year, a, few, a couple months ago, I decided to get a C43 AMG. Nice. <laughs> and that's just been an absolute dream and beauty to drive. Yeah. It's a lot more in every single way than my Alfa Romeo Mito. That was, to have that car, as a first car for me, it was incredible to have worked like super hard to save up for it and to have been able to afford what actually was my dream car at the time. Yeah. And work towards it and that's what I got. Yeah, so it so, sent something to you. Absolutely, and that's why I haven't been able to get rid of her. Her name's Adriana, actually. Sexy Italian, curves <laughs> with an amazing back. <laughs> back in, back styling. Back inside. <laughs> Uh, I was having a look at your Insta and I saw a, a link there for bursarynetwork.com. Yeah. Is that something you're involved in? Um, bursarynetwork.com is actually something I'm really, really passionate about. I'm one of the founders of this really cool crowdfunding website, which is a crowdfunding website for bursaries. Bursary Network uh, was part of like the, 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 the Fees Must Fall movement. Even though Fees Must Fall was a great way of raising our voices and really um, standing up for student rights. I figured why not start something that could positively contribute to students immediately and uh, then uh, that's how the crowdfunding website for the Bursary Network started. We've done a decent job. Uh, we've been around for just over a year. We have raised over 700,000 Rand and we've fully funded 17 students through Varsity. Oh, amazing. So, yeah, it's been growing nicely. I'm just hoping that in the next five years or so we can get the number up to 250. <laughs> Neither of us wanted to get out of the GTR, but duty called and after squeezing into a harness, we were ready to zip line. Hair nets are never sexy. But first, a mildly terrifying 4x4 ride up into the mountains. Alright, I think this guy might have missed his calling as a rally driver. But we survived and it was worth it. The zip lining at Cape Canopy Tours in Hrabeau 
is in a spectacular setting. Neither of us had done this before. We were about to fly across a huge canyon strapped to just one metal line. But as usual, maps looked pretty relaxed. Sorry. Getting fully strapped, all right? Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. And further back a bit. And further Lovely. back. Right side? No, the right side. Sir. Okay. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, enjoy. Ciao. That felt very fast. That was a fast one. Over the next few hours, we zipped across some of the most incredible scenery the Western Cape has to offer, which gave us plenty of time to chat. I'm not sure when Maps gets any sleep, as he's also currently presenting a TV show. The show I'm hosting right now is called Hangman. Yeah. It's a business show. Hangman, it's basically yeah. uh, The Apprentice and Shark Tank and uh, Dragon's Den all, all, okay. all meet each other, except it only looks for innovation. So we're trying to find South Africa's greatest innovators. And if your idea is innovative enough or your concept or something you've created is innovative enough, um, then you win a million rand. So it's been really, really cool working on that. But um, wow. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a hard ass when it comes to business and entrepreneurship and stuff. And you'll see in the show, it comes across quite a bit. We're coming in hot right here. Wow! It turns out ziplining isn't scary at all. It's an exciting and unique way to explore what must be some of South Africa's most dramatic landscapes. And it's just over an hour outside Cape Town. But it was time to head home, and that of course meant climbing back into the GTR. Thank you very much for, for coming along for the trip. You know, this is a typical Saturday in Cape Town. <laughs> um, kind of. It was a nice little thrilling day. Yeah. And it was great to be driving this awesome machine here. Jeez. Yeah, no, no offense to ziplining or Cape can Canopy tours, but I feel like this gave me the most adrenaline <laughs> of anything else that happened today. <laughs> that, that does say a lot about my driving. <laughs> Well, thanks very much for watching. Check out Maps all over social media. He's not that hard to find. Car South Africa on Twitter as well and on Instagram. Next up on Come Drive With Me, we are going go-karting with Prime Circle. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, you know, maybe, maybe give it a like and uh, definitely subscribe to be the first to see our videos as they drop. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. <laughs>